As you can see, what we've got here is the default user interface for Maya, and we have all of the individual sections that have been covered within their own videos. Now it can be fairly confusing having all of this, and a lot of the time you won't actually need to use it, or you won't want to use it because you'll be able to access perhaps menus via other means. So if I just begin to go through the way in which we're able to actually customize the user interface, you can then have a chance to play around, set up the user interface as you like. Under the display menu, up in the main menus, up at the top, we've got UI elements. Now I'm just going to tear off that menu there so I can keep it open. And quite simply, what we can do is begin to just turn off individual areas of the UI that we don't want all the way down until everything's completely gone and as I've mentioned with some of the hotkeys what we can do is even get rid of these so if I hit Control and M it will get rid of the main menu and if I hit shift and M it will get rid of the panels menu so what I have is a completely clear viewport and you'll tend to find that a lot of people that have used Ma for a long time will perhaps use this in certain situations because they can get to the tools and commands via the marking menus a process that's going to be covered later on as you begin to progress and get more confident with inside of Ma. Beneath all of the individual options, we've got an area that allows us to hide, show or restore the UI elements. So what I can do is say show all UI elements and it will bring everything back. I can hide all UI elements or restore the UI elements. So that's all very well, but it does mean that we do have to go up into a menu be a lot easier if we could just quickly determine how we want this set up. If I was to hit control and spacebar, as you can see, it would get rid of everything. And in fact, let me just bring back the panel menu and main menu, because there's something that you'll probably tend to have in most of the time. So control and space is the shortcut that allows me to hide or show all of my user interface elements. Let me just close this down so I've got a bit more room. Now I'm going to show you something that goes kind of to the marking menu and you'll be coming across this a lot of the time but if I was to hit control and space just to maximize the view and then I'm going to hit spacebar. This is our marking menu. If I come over to the right hand side and left click just in space you can see that I can bring back my command line, my shelf, my range slider, time slider, toolbox, status line. I can even go to attributes and bring back my attribute editor, layer editor, channel box. Okay, so that's one of those methods that I was talking about where as you get more comfortable, you'll be able to just quickly gesture and bring back certain areas of the user interface. Just returning back to the default, one thing that's been introduced in 2011 is the Qt interface, which gives us a lot more control over how we can work with our panels. All right, we've all got these certain dotted areas. If we left click and drag, okay, we're able to close up certain areas, minimize and maximize certain windows or elements that may be within there. But the interesting fact comes down to the new docking ability that we have. If I was to bring up my attribute editor and I wanted to be able to see both my attribute editor and my channel box, what I can do is just come over to the dotted line area, left click and drag. And what that will do will tear it off and I can either have it floating freely, okay, wherever I want, or if I left click drag and bring it over to the other side, if I continue to drag, you'll see a slight adjustment there. And what that's saying to me is, okay, you're able to drop that into that area. All right, so I've now ripped it off and docked it on the other side, meaning I can access both the attribute editor and the channel box layer editor. Of course, I can do that in other areas as well. I can take off the shelf menu. You can see that as I begin to move it around, the user interface will adjust, so I can now put it down at the bottom. Instead, it all depends on how you want to work and how you want the interface set up.